What's up guys, Ryushima here, Tim aka Static Boards, another quick tutorial. Uh, this will be pretty quick, uh, I just want to go over something real quick. There's a uh, In the description below there is going to be a link with a download to this Building Tools Master. This is something for Blender, um, it's an add-on and I think it's really helpful for buildings if anybody wants to use it. Uh, I'm going to offer up a quick little tutorial real quick of... I found it from somebody else, so obviously I'm going to share it to everybody else. Open a new Blender, delete everything in the scene. Uh, go to Edit and Preferences. Make sure you have your add-ons clicked. Go to Install, and you're going to navigate to wherever you just downloaded that Building Tools Master. Make sure you keep it in a zip folder. Do not unzip it. It needs to stay zipped up, kind of like a mod. Um, install the add-on. You're going to get this Mesh Building Tools. Click it on. Close that come to your little menu over here your little arrow now you got a whole menu right here called building tools okay you're gonna click create floor plan and that's gonna create your floor plan over here you're gonna get a little menu and this is under rectangle here is where you're gonna be able to change the shape in our case we're gonna go ahead and change it to random and we're just gonna change the seed up and the seeds gonna give us you know different shapes different floor plans if you are trying to model an actual building you can't and you have the measurements you can use this width and length here and customly build your floor plan um in our case we're making random buildings for excel we don't really know what they are they're just buildings so we're just going to do whatever um we want with this floor plan something like that looks good okay um once you have it set you can click away once this little menu disappears you can't get it back so if you didn't like this just do you know control z and then go back up here create a floor plan and do it again but once you click away it's gone so click that go into edit mode by hitting tab um actually i didn't even think of that let me uh turn those on for some people i know some people like seeing the key presses so yeah let me turn that on Okay, so, uh, sorry, I, didn't even th I usually forget to turn that on, and I know some people have actually messaged me and said they appreciate it, even though I think mine that I have is a little fast-paced. But So click this again, go hit tab, go into edit mode. Um, once you're in edit mode, this is where you're going to get all your other menus here. We're going to go ahead and add a floor first. Now, depending, we can add as many floors as we want. You know, we can make a skyscraper, we can do whatever. Um, so go as many as you want to do. In this case, we'll just do like four. That's fine. Um, you can change the heights, how high you want the building, you know, height wise, uh, the thickness of each slab in between. And then you can change the offset of if they go inward, outward, you know, stuff like that. Um, in this case, what I do is I click out and I always at this point, uh, tab out, make sure you're out of edit mode, unclick. I usually import my skater just because size referencing it makes it a lot easier so I always just bring in my skater because as you can see right now the buildings tiny scale it up mm, somewhere like that that looks more around the right size but um so anyways after you have this done um with the floors you're gonna want to go ahead and add a roof well to add the roof you're gonna have to click this top face and then click add a roof it's gonna add it um again you're gonna get another little menu down here you got flat roofs you got gabled roofs and then you got hip roofs i personally like the hip roofs um just like everything else you can change the thickness the offset which i like mine to stick out a little further and then the height i like mine to be up a little more kind of like that okay so there, now you got your roof and again this is just quickly making them i mean you could do this you can make 20 buildings in under five minutes you know doing this once you get used to it um and then let's say you want to add a stair so you click your front you go to add stair um then over here you're going to have your your 
height, your steps, you know, everything, everything sloped, blocked, you know, you can change a lot. I'm not really going to mess with it. Um, and then obviously you can, oh, once you get, well, again, once that menu has gone, you're going to lose it. So you have to go back, but for some reason, these always lag for me. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. So, you know, you can set it wherever you want it. If you have your ground plane here that you want it to be level with, bring your skater up, size it all with your skater. Um, you can change the railings. You can change them to glass panels. You can change them to rails, anything you want. It's all customizable. Change the densities, you know, how much you have, all that. Uh, we'll come over here. We'll click like, and we'll do these two. Um, we'll click add balcony. It's going to add in a little balcony. Again, you kind of can make it however you want. In this case, we'll make it all fancy. Like it's like new modern age. You know what I mean? But yeah, so there's your balcony. Now, say you want to add a door somewhere. Uh, here, let's just do it here. So say you want to add... Nah, actually, I'll just do it right here. So you want to add a door. When you add a door, it'll give you this, and then you can add arch to it. You can... Oh, I hit the wrong thing. Sorry. Whoa, sorry. Okay, so like you hit add door, and I don't... My key cat or my key thing menus in the way. Sorry, guys. This thing is in the way, and I need it to go away. Why, why is this not going away? Okay, that's annoying. But anyways, um, so you can change everything here. You can change your arch, your heights, uh, your counts on the doors if you want two of them. You can make it a double door. Um, yeah, a lot. I mean, there's just a lot you can do. You can do windows too. Um, add a window. And then, obviously, you can change the framing, everything, bars in the middle, all that. Um, and then up here, you can also do this one, add multi-group. So when you do add multi-group, it's going to add a door and a window. And um, then you can edit everything, change, you know, the input or offsets, the thickness of the framing, anything and everything you can think of. Um, the other thing... I mean, you could still do your basic editing. So if you wanted to have like, you know, this wall in more like that or something, you can, you can do all that, you know, and then you can click this and, you know, extend this out or something, you know, I obviously wasn't doing it right, but I'm saying like, you know what I mean? Um, so then the other thing that you can do with this is when you're in edit mode, you're going to want to click this material tools tab. And this material tools, uh, what it does is, right now we have no materials, obviously, for this. Um, but when we want to add materials to it, you can add it by the way that you added stuff here. It's already broken down. So let's say the roof, and we want to assign a new material right here. It's going to give us some material for the roof. Let's say you, you could, you know, put your roofing material in, your textures. But in this case, for the tutorial, I'm just going to do colors. Um... I don't know why it's changing the whole thing here. Huh. That's weird. It shouldn't change the whole thing. Oh, okay. I think you have to use nodes. Is that the issue here? Huh. I think the roof part's messed up, but... Anyways, uh, when you click each one here, you should be able to click it assign new material and then assign your material to it oh that's these posts here see and it'll change it to that material should do it for everything um obviously if something's messed up like the roof's not working right just texture it yourself no big deal i mean you can click this and hit p you know click your whole roof And 
in case if you didn't know you should know this from texturing but click your whole roof just hit p selection and then now you have your whole roof that you can just texture whatever you were planning on texturing it oh there we go so if you run into an issue with the texturing but for the most part it should uh it should work like if i click balcony and i hit assign new material there we go yeah it's working all right so yeah if you run into an issue just texture something yourself but for the most part it works pretty good at uh having them all split up and ready to go and you just make a new texture and yeah good to go but yeah i hope this helps some people i hope you guys get a better understanding of how to do buildings quicker um and maybe better maybe you ran out of ideas maybe you're not sure how to do it uh you can achieve a lot of looks don't be fooled that this is how it is you can get rid of this middle bar a lot and get a lot better looks i mean you can even go as far as deleting it yourself and just you know boom make a flat face there so i mean you there's a lot of stuff you can do just be creative but Till the next one, I hope this helps somebody, and I hope you guys have a good one. Enjoy. Later.